How's it going, Blazer? We're going to bring you specifications you can relate to so you can have an educated decision on your purchases. This is a new brand, and maybe they copied Civivi. Maybe they didn't because it's the same brand. Uh, so they're just like Toyota, as Lexus, and Nissan is Infinity, and all those other little brand changes. And if you didn't know that, you're welcome. Uh, but this is going to be uh, the uh, the third brand, uh, so basically is the We Knife Company, Civivi, and Sencut is going to be now uh, basically their budget uh, brand of things. Uh, so hopefully they'll stay in that budget uh, realm as well. Uh, but this one's going to be one through Amazon, uh, so that's going to be how you're going to get these. So Sencut, um, so I did ask, uh, what does that name mean? Is there any meaning behind it? Is there any type of uh, person that it relates to, any type of backstory? And there is not. Uh, so, send cut means nothing except for budget knife of We Knife Company. Uh, so, that's going to be what this is here. Uh, so, this is going to be the um, Actium, and then which I feel looks like the Backlash. And the Citus is um, kind of, I think, kind of takes off with the Fracture. Uh, but I think they're pretty good uh, as far as that goes. So, this is going to be kind of a long format, and we're going to be just kind of going through these things. Because I find myself sitting here going through uh, some of these knives, trying to get all the measurements and everything else, and then I go through the video. And so I'm just going to sit down, talk to you guys. Um, if you like the format, let me know. Uh, if you don't like the format, uh, you'll be gone in probably another minute or so, because average time is about three minutes. Uh, so we'll see what we have here uh, for these knives. Uh, but send cut. Uh, we're going to be going this one first. This one should be the Citus, uh, if I did put it in the correct order which it is. So we're going to start with this one. So for in the pocket, what is that going to look like uh, for you? Uh, that's going to be looking uh, just about like that uh, for this knife. So good deep carry pocket clip. A little different design uh, than a regular CVB clip. I uh, guess CVB clips are uh, more like so. So kind of different, kind of the same. Uh, but uh, it's from the same brand, probably same same warehouses or same places that are building them. Uh, but this is going to be uh, the knife here. So really good design for it, a good profile, uh, stone washed blade. Uh, so I think this looks really handsome. Uh, Send cut the logo, a G10, a good texture on it. Uh, T8s actually too. So um, I know folks like T8. So T8 here, body screw is also going to be T8. Uh, which is pretty cool. Lanyard loop there. You have pocket clip, so a really good clearance there too. So it's not recessed or it's not actually sunk into the scale, uh, but it's going to be reversible so you can move it over to the other side if you're a left-hand carry or if you're going to carry it on your weak side or anything else because uh, you got something else in the other pocket. Uh, so the steel is going to be here. Not going to be see that very well, uh, but that does say 9CR18. Uh, so that's going to be what they're going to be running for this one. And for the price point, there's a lot of lint in there, but for the price point, there's going to be a pretty good um, skeletonization uh, for the inner scales too, uh, which you're not going to be able to see. But it is skeletonized, uh, which is not something you see in a budget knife very often. So that's something that is pretty cool. Uh, so I do like that quite a bit. So weight-wise on this one, we'll see also uh, what that will come out to be. So let's see what it is. Yeah, it is 2.5 ounces. So that's going to be about 12, 12 quarters and a penny. So that's where I do I use quarters for that. So if you do have it laying around, uh, basically that's going to be the weight. Uh, so each one of the quarters, so a quarter is 0.2 ounces. And I don't know where my penny went. A penny is 0.1 ounces. So you can work that out, get that in hand, feel how that is. If you have another knife laying around, then you can just add it to it or, well, you can't take it away. So add it to it. So start with a lighter knife and then you'll be able to see what that is uh, for the knife as well. Most of these run about 40 bucks. Uh, so it might vary from time to time, uh, but that's going to be how this knife looks here. We're going to look at the, also the pull gauge. So I do use a liming pull gauge to see how much it is as far as what the pull is like. And then I like about two to three pounds uh, for a pull. Uh, so that gives you more information. So it doesn't tell you as far as how I feel it is. I just tell you, well, this is what the number shows. 
So two pounds, 13, or two, two pounds, 12.7 ounces. So that's actually pretty good. So for a flipper, it's right in that place that I like. And then also does have the middle finger flick that you can do. So this one's done really well. Uh, it doesn't have any lash or anything. Uh, so when you're actually uh, moving it, sometimes with a flipper tab, uh, you can be pressing on it and then the blade will kind of move a little bit because there's a little bit of um, lash or detent issues there. Uh, so this one doesn't have it. So for a uh, knife coming direct, uh, it's actually done very well uh, for this one here. Uh, so that's where you do have the deployment side. So you do have the light switch side for it and middle finger uh, kind of do thumb yep thumb you can do my phone uh, and then no inertia though no you're not going to do that you're going to hurt yourself so that's what you're going to have for those for the way that's going to work and then we're going to do so let's see what the length is like for this one so you always go from the furthest up on the handle uh, to the tip. So 3.24 uh, as far as that length. So if you have issues with blade length uh, for um, where you are, that might be an issue. Uh, but if not, then, well, not an issue. And then also uh, for the, the cutting length on it, uh, the way I measure that, is going to be a little bit different uh, so basically um, we'll try and do this on camera a little bit so basically taking it from the edge and then rolling it over yeah it's moving a little bit uh, but rolling it over and then marking it off so not super scientific uh, but that's how I get the cutting edge for a knife. Uh, so cutting edge is going to be on this one. So you take it from the mark all the way out to where I started from. So 3.226. So that's the cutting edge on it. So it's going to be roughly the same between the cutting edge and the blade length, uh, which is pretty good for that. Uh, so that is what that is. Uh, we're also going to look at some of the measurements for uh, where this comes from. This this is actually still the factory edge for it. Uh, so we do have uh, this one here. This is the laser edge reader tool. I think is what the the full name for it. Uh, so I can do a review on this one too if you like. But this one is coming out to be. Sorry, you're not going to be able to see it too well on your side. So pretty high. So um, it looks like it's about 20, 20 degrees on one side and about 24 on the other. So it's not going to be a fully symmetrical um, grind angle uh, for it. So one side's a little bit steeper than the other. And it seemed like uh, I saw on Outpost 70, Outpost, Outpost 76, uh, he was talking about the behind edge thickness and then also the initial sharpening angle and I think that's how what they do to get a behind edge thickness that is more uh, what people are looking for uh, because uh, there's always that push as far as behind edge thickness, behind edge thickness uh, they want really thin behind the edge so one way to do that is to have a higher angle uh, but this one is pretty pretty big so about 22 Oh, 22 thousands uh, for that one. Oop. So if you have, so 22 thousands, and that's going to be about five sheets of paper. So take that out of your printer, and that's what you're going to have for that. Uh, so this is going to be, again, long format. If you're driving along in your car, uh, then, well, I'm talking to you about it, and I'll try and be as descriptive as possible. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, so this is going to be what that knife is. Uh, so steel-wise, again, 9CR18 uh, nine uh, for this one. Uh, behind the edge thickness is going to be that five sheets of paper. Uh, the groove ramp is another thing that I do for that. So basically we're taking uh, the edge. Moving over. So 
So that's going to be what I use uh, for a little protractor thingy. And then so I take it from here. So there's a lot of different things that I look at uh, to just try and get a uh, some data points, some information. Because uh, a lot of times you can hear uh, what people think about things. Uh, but a lot of times you want to make your own judgment call for it. So this is about 22 degrees. So 20 degrees I find is really good. 30 degrees is okay. 4 degrees and above is a little excessive. Uh, so that's what I do not like for that. Um, also stock thickness for this is going to be... And for some reason my mind works with millimeters. So 3.03 0, 3 millimeters uh, for this one here. And that's going to be uh, what you have. Uh, so I like it uh, quite a bit. So Sendcut, I think, is going to do a very good job uh, for uh, the brand. Uh, they are a direct sale. Uh, so um, in, a, in, in essence, uh, this uh, Sendcut actually has a higher cost uh, probably than um, than a Civivi as far as uh, what factory actually gets. So um, it actually works out pretty well for them to go direct sale instead of going through a dealer. Uh, but uh, that's going to be um, what you want to, as far as what your thoughts are on that, as far as the brand going for direct sales through Amazon, other otherwise than going through like a Blade HQ and everything. I'm sure that they'll probably get there eventually as far as selling everywhere else, uh, but that's what this one is. So nice knife. I uh, do like it quite a bit. Uh, carried it, used it, uh, but that is what that one is. Uh, the next one is going to be uh, the Citus. At least that's what I'm calling it. Uh, I do like their boxes too because I do like um, how this works and then it has a little pull out tray. And this one, I would not buy this color normally. Uh, so that's why it's kind of nice to actually get it uh, from them uh, because I don't really buy purple knives. Uh, but that is purple. Might look at, might, looks kind of blue. Uh, but this is a purple with a black. And this one really looks like the backlash. At least in my opinion for that and one thing for this uh, it's gonna be probably hard to see I don't know if that's gonna come through but uh, for these thumb studs I'll try and get a picture of this but the thumb studs kind of have like a thumb um, a thumbprint pattern uh, so it's not really sharp but it has grip to it so that uh, alone is a pretty big standout as far as just the design standpoint so if they use these thumb studs um, like on everything I think that's going to be a real standout design for a thumb stud it's kind of weird to actually say one of the best things on a knife is a thumb stud but that's what you're using on a day-to-day -day basis when you're using a knife you're going to deploy it with that uh, you have the flipper tab as well but I mean that's what you're going to be touching whenever you're using the knife so if it's not comfortable uh, then you're not going to like the knife as much uh, but this is going to be what the knife looks like uh, going all the way across and then also T8s on these. It's the same pocket clip, same clearance, also not recessed. So that's going to be how that one works there. Uh, but yeah, T8s across. Uh, weight on this one. You use uh, 3.8. So that's going to be, was that 19? 19 quarters? Could have my math wrong on that, but I think that's right, about 19 quarters. So, again, for that, if you have um, quarters laying around, if you um, don't have that many, uh, take a knife, bug out something light, and then you can add it to it because, again, a quarter is 0.2 um, ounces, a penny is 0.1 ounces. So, you have that information for you, uh, but this is a really nice one. I, I'm going to probably keep this one around uh, just because I like it that much. Uh, really great action for it. Uh, again, thumb stud deployment, uh, really nice. Uh, tip up and carry right hand, left hand. So that's something that's good that they're actually keeping up with that as well. So alignment full gauge for that. Now we're going to look at this one too. So we're going to have again two to three pounds is a, something that I prefer uh, for a thumb stud. I mean a flipper tab deployment. Oop, fell off. So again, two pounds, uh, uh, 12 ounces. 
So that's pretty close to the other one. So as far as consistency, that's really what you get a lot of times with we Civivi and now Send Cut. Uh, so that's going to be something that's really uh, quite good. Uh, so the plumb in wide, so now you're going to have that flipper. So you're going to have light switch. Again, light switch is anytime the, uh, the flipper tab is going to be in line or higher than the pivot, you're not going to be able to push button it because push button is a straight across. Light switch is up and down. Uh, so that's going to be where you have for that. So you have thumb stud. I think you have middle finger. Yes, you do. Inertia. No inertia. So you're not going to have that, but you can have traditional style. You can open that up. It's a pretty large knife, uh, so you might not be able to really even do that too much uh, for the knife. Uh, blade length uh, for this is going to be about 3.4 uh, for the blade length. And then cutting side. So you're going to be off the camera a little bit. The cutting is going to be so we had three point three point four seven. So this one is going to be one that actually um, is less cutting edge uh, than the prior one, uh, just because that front foil. So this one is going to be a cutting edge about three point two. So you lose about 0.2 um, from this front foil uh, that you have here. So it's not a very large one. You're going to be kind of um, be a little bit more wary about that. But for a front foil, that it does lose uh, some of the cutting edge uh, for it. So again, 0.2 um, inches that you're going to lose for that. Now you're going to have. So let's see what the actual. Uh, spine is stock thickness is going to be uh, 2.97 so almost three millimeters for that also beyond their thickness uh, for it Oop, that's millimeters so it's going to be almost five uh, sheets of paper as well So a little thinner, so uh, 21 thousandths for this one. And this one is gonna be a hollow grind. Uh, so that's something that um, it will stay behind the edge thickness uh, for I actually get a narrower. Um, so it's gonna basically have a little concave. Uh, so basically, oh, I can't really do it too well, uh, but it's basically um, kind of like, like so. And then it has the final edge put on it. So as you sharpen it, it's gonna get down to this closer edge. So it actually will get a smaller beyond edge thickness the longer you use it and then it's going to get thicker after that kind of like a regular flat grind but that's not going to be how this one is here uh, the degree of ramp is good on this one too I think it's going to be probably about that 20 degree as well but we'll see what we have here maybe it seems a little bit less so probably going to be about uh, it's going to be under 20 degrees for this one as far as what I see uh, but overall, I mean, this is something that's really quite uh, good. And again, Send Cut is going to be that budget brand. Hopefully, they stay in that uh, that realm for it. Uh, but they're doing a really good job for it. Um, we'll have a full review on it. But again, if you guys have any questions, uh, do let me know as far as what you're looking for. Because I want to have more of a conversation with folks. Because a lot of times when I'm doing the reviews, I'm throwing information out there. I'm kind of giving my opinion. Don't really hear back too much. Uh, so if you're still with us uh, at this point, uh, this is going to be uh, probably almost 20 minutes in, uh, which is pretty fantastic. Uh, then kind of let me know as far as what you think about Send Cut, what do you think about We Civivi, uh, what do you think about the budget world because that has changed quite a bit. Uh, so this is going to be a D2 blade on this one. So the other one was 8CR. This one's going to be D2. D2 is going to have a better edge retention, uh, but it's going to be one that you just got to take care of a little bit more. Uh, for the knife uh, so I just really like this one um, the colors work really well actions really good uh, for it. Uh, thumb ramp is nice and then you have the front kind of smaller toil uh, so we'll look at the sizing for these and then kind of let me know 
as far as what you guys are thinking. So that's going to be uh, that send cut and this one here. So you can see the difference between those two. And then we'll throw in some random knives so you can kind of see. Uh, so that's going to be a, a PM3. Then you have a bug out. And a rat 2. And then you're going to have the Solaris. Very dirty. That's, I carry that every day in my left pocket because I carry another knife in my right pocket. And then these are the fractures and I was talking about. So on the CVV side, these are going to be the fractures. Um, you got a few different uh, blade styles and everything else. These are going to be slip joints. Uh, so um, it almost would be nice to get uh, this in a liner lock. Uh, with this type of deployment uh, method, but the other one does it really well uh, for the um, the Citus. Uh, but these would be kind of cool if it was a liner lock. So thank you very much not to We Knives, uh, uh, Sendcut, Civivi uh, for pro providing it to um, take a look at it because I wouldn't have done that um, before because I didn't even know they existed before that and there was an article on it and then there's somebody else talking about it so it was kind of just out of the blue as far as the brand popping up uh, so they really are taking it over for a lot of the um, the brands to actually get out there and actually really enjoy uh, the knives but good highlights I don't think you're gonna go wrong on it so if you have any designs that you really like um, I would say buy it pick it up uh, if you get it on Amazon you might still get it before Christmas at this point uh, but Happy holidays. Hopefully you now folks have a better 2021 uh, because 2020 has been rough. Um, it's still going. Uh, still have kids out of school. Uh, still have other things going on. Uh, lost a dog. So uh, there's a lot of things that happen. Uh, so and that's where we have for it. But send cut. What does it mean? make something up because it doesn't mean anything it doesn't have any meaning behind it send cut is send cut it is a knife company it is a budget uh, from we knife co uh, so check those things out let me know what you think uh, but that is about all i have to say about that one today